Hello again, just a quick video this time about the fairly new countdown clock feature. I've had a couple of people ask me to do a video on it, so I'll do a quick one. Basically now there's now a countdown clock option. <laughs> if you go to the options and settings, you'll see a new section there called countdown. I'll go through these one by one. Obviously first you need to enable it, makes sense. Then you can choose how long before the start of the meeting it kicks in. You've got one to five minutes that you can choose from. This one's important, overlay on background. If you have a background image set up when Soundbox is running on the extended screens, then you'll need to have this ticked. Otherwise the countdown clock will be working, but it'll be underneath the image so you won't see it. So that's important. Uh, position is where on the screen you want it. For this demonstration, I'm gonna have it on the center of the screen so you can see it clearer, but you can choose anywhere on the screen. At our congregation, we have it on the bottom right. It seems a little bit more subtle down there, but you can still see it from everywhere. But it's up to you. Try it and see what you like. Uh, show dial, as you'll see in the demonstration, not only does it have the time counting down, you also see a, a, a clock face type thing uh, going around. And then the size, medium is quite big. Small is still big enough to be seen any, from anywhere in the hall. Large takes up most of the screen. And then you've got three themes, warm, pastel, and bright. Warm is the default one. I quite like pastel as well. Bright is okay. It's a bit gaudy for me. But um, let's just get to, to showing it. First of all, here we have the bright theme running. As you can see, it is quite bright. And you can see the dial clearly here. And now we have the pastel theme and lastly the default warm theme so as you can see they're quite quite pleasant to see quite clear um the dial is just nice to see it doesn't add to the make it any easy to see but it's quite nice to see i think so that's what it looks like and that's how to set it up but I've enabled it if I go to anywhere on here there's no indication that anything's going to happen it doesn't just come on when you want it to come on you can't just there's no button to hit start countdown what it does is by default soundbox assumes that the meeting will start on the hour or on the half hour so at the moment, as you can see, the time on this machine is 20 to 4. Um, if I start Soundbox now, it will assume the meeting will start at 4 o'clock. And the countdown clock will kick in at 5 minutes to that. But there's a proviso. You have to have the background music playing. So if you don't have the background music set to start, or you don't manually start it at the beginning when you first get there, the countdown clock won't kick in. It makes sense actually because you could be opening Soundbox to do other things. Perhaps you're there not during a meeting to do some maintenance. You don't need the countdown clock coming up and you don't need it recording and things like that. So the background music is what initiates it. And then when you've got it running, you'll see a new button here. So the, to enable that, I'm going to have to close Soundbox, go into the future slightly. So let's change the time to just before 5-2 and then open Soundbox again. And now I'll start playing the background music. And in pretty much exactly a minute's time the countdown clock will kick in and it'll look like the examples I showed you earlier. So let's just wait for that. And there we are, the countdown clock has started, as you can see. 
But now there is a new button, close countdown. You shouldn't have to do this manually that often, but there are times when, <laughs> for instance, our meeting a couple of weeks ago, the chairman decided to start the meeting and there was still two minutes on the countdown clock. So we had to panic and close the countdown, stop the background music and start the meeting. But um, normally what will happen is the countdown clock will stop, obviously at zero, and the background music can be set to turn off a minute before the start of the meeting. So let's cancel that and stop the background music. I just want to show you that option in settings. Here we are, background music. You've got auto stop background music and as you can see automatically stop background music before the start of the meeting. If you have that turned to whatever time you want it to then it, it's a good way of indicating to the sound desk operator and anyone in charge of the meeting oh the background music has stopped it's time to start the meeting so we have it set to a minute at our hall but it's up to you what you have but the countdown clock will go all the way to zero whether you have the background music set to start to stop a couple of minutes before the meeting or not okay so that's the countdown clock hope you find this useful uh, please like the video if you would please and i'll see you in the next one thank you